Hey guys, so today's video I wanted to bring you an acne tag with a very good friend of mine um, named Daisy, who is Dazers89 or Perfect Beauty on YouTube. If you follow kind of my life through Instagram or Twitter, then you know that I've been friends with Daisy since last year, and this year we got to attend IMATS, the International Makeup Artist Trade Show together. Um, and because we are kind of like acne sisters, we thought it was really important to kind of create an acne tag that discussed both the emotional and physical dealings of acne and you know, we've both gone through it and we both have very different experiences that kind of have the same roots and there was really nothing like it online. So the intro kind of got messed up, so this is our intro. Um, but the first half of this tag will be on my channel and the second half will be on Daisy's. Um, and like I said, she's an amazing person. I'm so blessed to have her in my life. Um, and I'm really glad that I get to do this tag with her and really discuss acne because it's something we've both been so emotionally raw about. And, you know, you never really realize that anyone else has it until you start talking about it. Because until you talk about it, you know, you don't really realize that someone else has the same problem. And you know, especially with YouTube, it can become kind of like a perfection syndrome. Like you think that you have to have perfect hair, perfect nails to be beautiful when really it's something that stems from the inside. So this tag is to bring light to that. We wanted to invite absolutely everyone to do it. Um, so the questions will all be on the bottom tab and we would love it if you would tweet us or Facebook us with your video response. So we'll get into the first half on my channel and Daisy's channel will be linked below. Um, so be sure to subscribe to her and check her out for part two. So we're like, Sisters, acne sisters. We're acne sisters. We're sisters in a lot of different ways, but Def. <laughs> but we definitely share having acne, and I think um I think it's so cool because you know there needs to be people to talk about this and like like on you know on YouTube so many people are like so beautiful they have great skin but you have to also realize like there's a huge proportion we of people all have flaws we all have flaws and like. Makeup can do a lot, so uh, we just want to share and with you guys. And the more you put it out there, the more people will realize, like, nobody's perfect. Right. there's, like, that image, and it needs to... Right. You feel insecure because you feel like there's no one else like you. Right. But you have to realize that, you know, it, it's not until people show their flaws that you realize you're not alone in this, so... Putting it out there. Putting it out there. So the first question is, when did you first start getting acne? You asking me, or can I ask you? I mean, when we're both did doing you this. first? We're when both did you first get out? Third grade. Same here. I want to say I was about seven or eight years old, but it was in Mrs. Andrews' third grade class, and I got a pimple on my nose, and I was like, Mom, what is this? Because a girl like was like, is that a wart? Is it contagious? I didn't know. I was like, Mama, what is it? She's like, oh, it's a pimple. It'll go away. Oh, wow. Okay. They went everywhere but away. <laughs> like, honestly. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I had um blackheads like on the sides of my nose, and oh. I remember using this... Neutrogena like cream mm -hmm. and it was clear and had salicylic acid and made my nose really like hot. Peely. Yeah. So that was my first experience, probably third grade. Okay. So then that brings up the second question. What is the first what are like the first acne products you remember using? Neutrogena. Neutrogena. Like a lot of Neutrogena. Uh, my acne back then it was like first like on the nose and then it you know like the acne kind of has traveled and disappeared. So started in the nose, and then it went up to the forehead, then went up to the cheeks, and the sides of my face, and then the jaw. Okay. So I've had acne everywhere, but it's never all in one area. Place. Yeah. Okay. For me, the first product that I can remember using, I remember freaking out about my skin, and before I went to a dermatologist, I used the Clean and Clear Morning Burst. And mm. it was because a friend of mine had like perfect really skin. Like she recommended it to me. I love the smell, but it really I love didn't the do smell. much for my skin. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it just kept on getting worse. But the first product that I remember that I still use to this day is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer sure. for sensitive skin. Is that the one that t No, that's clean. It's purple. I can use it when my skin is raw and my skin is fine. And oh, it's like really? a holy grail product. I will have to try that. that. Holy grail. Holy grail. Holy grail. But my acne, um, it started with that one pimple on my nose, but it was more like... I guess kind of jawline in my forehead when I was in elementary really, school. Really? Even elementary. Jawline? Uh, a little bit. Now, middle school, it exploded on my forehead because I had emo kid bangs. I had those <laughs> bangs, like, I would cover half kids. my face. Like, you, could, you couldn't even see when I was looking at you. I was like the grudge or something. <laughs> um, and that made my T zone so oily. I had acne on my scalp, which is really bad because it would scab. And at first, I thought it was dandruff. It was actual pimples on my scalp. Disappeared it was really bad for a really long time. Do you know what psoriasis is? Yes, it was not psoriasis. Okay. Like they checked it out. It was terrible. Um, that's when I started going to dermatologists in middle school. 
um, all throughout middle school. In middle school, it really exploded. I had a really tough time mentally in middle school, more so than I did elementary school. Um, I blew up on my chin, never on my jaw. I blew up on my chest, mm. not really on my back. High school, my chest, my chest is even, it's pretty darn clear. Yeah. Like, it's not terrible. Yeah, it's really good now. Um, it's like, you have those little ones. My back blew up in high school my entire neck, my jaw, and I had, I got cystic acne, like, to the max. Wow. And, yeah, now it's a lot of, my cysts are still there, but they're not as many, not as bad, mm -hmm. they don't travel like they used to, mm -hmm. but they're just, like, these, you can feel them, like, underneath the skin, mm -hmm. and there's also, like, little whiteheads, like, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Melia, I don't know, because Melia, you can't get out, so it's not Melia. Melia is the stuff under your eyes, right? Yeah, but like, I can't, it's like, I don't know what I would call it, but it's like, it's those white things, you can get them out, but it's not me, it's so mm. frustrating. Interesting. When did you start seeing a doctor, and what treatments did they recommend? Um, I went to a doctor, probably in middle school, and they recommended, um, Differin, you know, Differin, Differin. erythromycin, um, all the kind of antibiotics, mm -hmm. and it would, like, the problem I had was it would work for, like, the first month or two and then my body would get used to it and also like different and retin-a just dried my skin out so so much and I think you know honestly a problem I had was because it kept drying my skin out and they were all like yeah just keep using it like your body will get used to it and it'll be better I just couldn't keep like peeling my skin out yeah um for me I started seeing a dermatologist in middle school um I stopped counting at 12 because it was like no one could help me. And I feel like doctors, it's like a canned response. Like they yeah, get exactly. Like, they get more money from the Botox patient. So why are they going to oh. spend 30 minutes on an acne patient when the acne patient pays insurance and it's nothing? Like mm -hmm. they're going to spend the extra time on the Botox patient or the surgery patient who pays a lot. And they're just going to prescribe a pill for acne. Um, but the first major treatments were clindamycin phosphate lotion. Mm, yeah, I remember. Um, and he had the sins. Exactly. <laughs> and then the they put me on tetracycline, then minocycline, then doxycycline, then Bactrim. Everything except for Accutane because I have, um, we didn't know this at the time, but I had one kidney and I had premature arthritis, which I couldn't have the Accutane because of my joints. Oh, really? So what would happen if you Well, the Accutane it? soaks up all the oil in your skin and it changes your DNA. Yeah. I don't have a lot of fluid in my knees. They swell up because they're not lubricated enough, my joints. Uh -huh. And um, basically because I exercise and stuff, like they get already inflamed. So if I were to take Accutane, I wouldn't be able to walk. Like it would make my arthritis oh my a lot worse. Yeah. And I just, I couldn't do pills because I would throw up every single night. Oh my gosh. Because they made me, like, physically sick. Wow. wow. So what was your question that I interrupted? I, I so totally, really, I totally I forgot. Oh no, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. Mm. Think. Oh, what was, like, um, like, the first, like, like, teasing or, like, you know, other people started commenting about your skin? Like, what was that story like? Mm, what was it for you? So, um, I think in middle school, I would actually just, like, I don't know, people would start talking about their skin, and it was so awkward because if someone had one pimple, they'd be like, oh my god, I have terrible skin, I'm breaking out, blah, blah, blah. It's like one tiny you got pimple, one little bump. and, like, then my forehead was covered with zits, and, like, I just, I just didn't know what to say in that moment. I specifically exactly remember who this person was, like, to this day, I still remember it. It's weird because, like... Even 13 years ago, I still, I can clearly visualize this person saying this, but I remember we were like doing math homework and the guy was just like, yeah, like, why don't you just wash your face? It's not that hard. And it was just kind of like, are you kidding me? Like, I probably know, I probably have like every single face, face wash there. that they sell in the market and I probably have better skincare routine than you do. And it's not as easy as simply washing your face. So that's kind of the first like, experience experience that I had yeah. for me the first memorable acne comment was not necessarily teasing but it's ingrained in my mind and then I do remember the first time I was teased or I believe was the first time I was teased and again I remember her name Carolyn um, she was a, such a sweet girl I still love her to this day but she was the one who said what's that on your nose is that a wart is it contagious mm -hmm. and I was like what's on my nose and I remember going home to my mom. Um, after that, I was a Girl Scout, have a pigtails, I was troop 24, 68, <laughs> and I sold 472 boxes of Girl Scout Damn, cookies. Damn, girl! 
It's like my, I wanted that stuffed turtle. Okay, it was like it was like my <laughs> that was like my like if you ask me, you like, what's me your biggest you achievement? <laughs> if you ask me, what's your biggest achievement? Like that's what I put. Wow. <laughs> like on all those online profiles. But um, Linnea, Linnea Bush, um, she made. She herself was not perfect. We were in like the same Girl Scout group and we were like friends because we all hung out together, but we didn't like each other. And she was the first person who ever called me pizza face. And she said oh, something, yeah. she said something similar. She was like, you're just so unhygienic. Do you shower? Like what's wrong with you? And you know, she had an older sister who was like totally into beauty and makeup and all that. And she's like, you're such a man, like you're such a boy. And you know, you don't want to hear that as a kid. And then I, I used to shower morning and evening, like twice a day, wow. maybe three times a day because of what, and I was just like, no, I'm not. And like that really drilled something into me. And then I remember James, James beside us. Um, I told you I had more chest acne in like end of elementary school and middle school. Oh, this hurt. My teacher, my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Clark, I loved him. Um, he, you know, they have parent teacher conferences. He pulled my mom out of the classroom and he said, now I just want to talk to you about this because you didn't even want to say in front of the other parents. He says, you know, your daughter's really smart, but I noticed that she's not being super social with the other kids. She hides a lot under her hair because mm. I was having that emo thing. He said, you should really buy her some deodorant and some acne wash. Oh. And my mom came home and she's like, honey, we need to buy you some deodorant and some acne wash. And that hurt me so bad. I was like, do I stink as bad as dad? You know? Oh. And to hear your teacher, my mom told me, like, your teacher said your skin is ugly. And to hear that from, a, like, a teacher that I, I looked up to this teacher. Like, I love, and I know he didn't say it to be mean, but, like, that hurt so bad. And then James Bazaitis, they were laughing at me in steel drum band because I had a fat pimple right there. And they're like, why didn't you pop it? And I'd never popped a pimple at that point. I'd had acne for four years, five years, never popped a pimple. And they were like, ew, that's so disgusting. That's like a mound on your chest. Like, ew, get rid of it. Why don't you pop it? And that was the first time and I popped ever it. popped it. And then at the end of class, I was like, ew, look, she popped it. And they were laughing at me. I was like, like I thought I was supposed to pop it. <laughs> and ever since then, it became like a stress thing. Mm, and I started wow. popping my pimples because it was nervous. Like, it was nervous yeah. picking. Because before I used to, this is gross, I used to like pick my scabs. Like, yeah. I, I just, that's no, like I a nervous just... habit. And it just, it went to my skin. Oh and my ever gosh. since then. People are me, and you like don't realize like when you even ask those questions. It, but it can hurt. Or it, it, can, it can. Someone can take it differently. It can take it differently. Yeah. yeah. I would say that the thing that helps me most, like just over the counter product, definitely the Neutrogena oil free moisture. I was super oily, and people were like, "Don't use oil oh, yeah, moisturizer. It's gonna make you more oily." Oh, yeah. No moisturizer. My skin produces oil because it needs moisture. If I give it moisture from somewhere else, it doesn't want to produce its own. So that moisturizer was like a holy grail for me. It still is. Um, I was an esthetician, I was in aesthetic school and doing beauty, oh, yeah. I learned about glycolic acid and the mm -hmm. seven layers of the skin. Do you guys remember the seven layer skin dance? <laughs> um, but I learned about glycolic peels, those are a lifesaver. Yes, I love, yeah. Glycolic, any um, alphabet hydroxy acid yeah. is good, but I prefer glycolic. I like sulfur treatments, mm. and those were better than even what the doctors prescribed me. The only thing the doctor prescribed me that I liked was Retin-A, but it did make me peel. Retin-A, okay. And then as far as like treating things hormonally and naturally, I'm super big into natural things. I read the ingredients on everything. I'm, I'm very big on that because I'm very sensitive. I have very sensitive skin, very sensitive stomach. My skin can take a lot, but I'm sensitive. Um, so when it comes to natural things, I've done years of trial and error and testing. And I think that for me, diet has a lot to do. I mean, my, my energy is messed up. I have like two reproductive systems and one kidney, like it's a mess. Um, she can reproduce with herself. No, <laughs> that is not how it works. Yeah, too. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, not exactly. Uh, um, but you know, I, I'm pretty like weird on the inside. But I've noticed that diet for me plays a lot to do, and stress plays a lot with my acne. Mm. If I manage my stress, if I exercise regularly, sweat can make me break out. So, exercising regularly, managing my stress, managing what I eat. If I eat dairy, I break out super bad. Mm. If I eat high glycemic foods, I break out super bad. And I've done something recently by doctor's recommendation and on my own called juice cleansing or juice fasting. And honestly, my, I did a water fast as well for almost a week. My skin has never been clear in my entire water life. Fast? Water fast. It cleared me up amazing. Wait, you just drink water for like seven days? For seven days. You, you didn't eat anything? Well, it was medically supervised, but you are giving your system a break. And they were doing it because I was having digestional issues. And honestly, I had no active acne. My 
they disappeared and that's what told me there's something going on. It might have been all the medications I was on when I was younger. It destroyed my bowel flora because medications like tetracycline can ruin the inside of your intestines. So I'm wondering, it obviously has a little bit to do with the food I eat, my stress levels also when I was medically fasting. No work, no school, no stress. Mm. You sleep and you read and you do yoga and meditation and for me I prayed. And I was stress free. I wasn't, you know, no creams, you don't put toothpaste, you don't have creams on your face, it's water. Because, you know, your skin absorbs things too, and, you know. Um, but it was amazing, and I do juice. I add juices to my diet every now and again just because, and then there are days where I'll go a day and I'll just have, you know, 2,500 calories worth of juice. So I'm getting my nutrients, but I do it through juice. And giving my intestine that break and only putting in raw, organic mm, I fruits, try vegetables, that. and juices. I try yeah. that. We'll do it together. It really <laughs> helps. It really helps. Wow, I should do it. Well, how about you? Like natural treatments natural? outside of products you can buy? Um, I don't really know. I feel like I have gone gluten free, and I feel like it did clear up my skin. But I don't know if it was like other reasons. Okay. The diet, you know? Because you, the derma really, really helped you. Yeah, but the derma was for like scarring. Okay. More can so. you use it on active acne or not? You can use. Would it spread it? We have like there's a stamp where you could use it like around the pimple. Okay. But if you get it out. No, no, no. Like it would like let's say you're breaking out like right here. You, you would use, use it, it around. Else. Yeah. Okay. Like it's not recommended to obviously pop a pimple. Um. Yeah. So the derma roller like is so great for acne scarring and like any part of the skin that needs any kind of brightening and just the luminosity. Yeah, the little lift collagen boost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And but I'm, not for active acne. Really? No, I wouldn't recommend okay. it. Okay. Um, but you know what I'm really about is like natural products or products that don't have a lot of extra stuff. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of like washing my face with like olive oil or like yes. coconut oil. Look, removes makeup better than any other product you will ever buy. Um, and like uh, like salt scrubs or like the baking soda. Sugar oh, scrub? what I really like is um the not Advil. Uh, the white pills, white pills with water. Aspirin. Aspirin, yeah, that works really well. Have you Burns done that? me so uh, bad. It's, it just, it just, it was, it was it so was good. It was amazing for you? And it's so cheap, yeah. Okay. And lemon juice. Although, using, have you used lemon juice? Yes. It like, it makes your face look bleached. It doesn't glow, it makes it look bleached. I agree. Um, whereas I vitamin C, it like makes it glow. So I don't know if it was too harsh or whatever. But. Well also lemon is very acidic. Mm. Vitamin C is acidic, but it has more um, peptides or enzymes. But it, it, you know, it stimulates collagen. Right. Whereas lemon um, just bleed. kills. Yeah, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. So. so that's it for part one. If you want to see part two, it gets pretty darn emotional. Um, so you can head on over to Daisy's channel. And if you like this video, make sure to thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't already, um, share it if you felt the same way, and be sure to post like either a video response or a video in regards to it. Um, just talking about your own struggle and doing the acne tag, but part two is on her channel. You can click somewhere around here or it'll be the first link in the bottom tab. Um, but she's amazing oh, and um, excited to get into part two.